Okay, so hey, what is up guys? This is Collis here, and this is going to be another episode of our Oh My God, Kemba and Campaign. We was trying so hard to find some other guests, and we only got one, and uh, you'll probably be a bit upset, but it's Ken Burton. Ah, you cheeky bastards. Right, okay. Cold, Coles. I thought your name was Colditz for some reason. I was just looking over thinking, <laughs> why is it called Colditz? What's it got to do with German prison camps? I don't know. It's bizarre. Hey, boys, how you doing? That's, 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 a, that's, that's a little too quiet. <laughs> that's, that's Ken Burton. <laughs> Ken. It's Ken. It's me. It's the so, only so one. Doing, the one boys? and only. Okay. Um, well, we're, we're going to be playing some zombies. And we're going to okay. see how well we do with Ken along. And hopefully Ken is also going to be discussing his his campaign to us more clearly than we did before. And let's get started. Yay. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. Started. Awesome. Zombie. Speak so up. Ken, how do you feel you're going to be doing on this? Uh, mainly on the floor, or I'd, I'm going to be. I'm. You know, guys. I'd. The, one of the problems with zombies I've always had is that I get nightmares, right, about zombies. Now that's nothing to do with, you know, people think oh, I get nightmares. What do you mean nightmares? Right. I. I. Um, because I'm diabetic, I'm on various medications, and one of them, unfortunately, gives you night terrors. So. <laughs> Zombie so playing yeah. zombies isn't the cleverest thing you want to do in your day, if you know what yeah. I mean. <laughs> but uh, no, it's all right. It's not bad, you know. You can handle it. So. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I got a kill. That's me ahead of everyone. Congratulations. Yeah, um, I probably need to sort out my sensitivity after this. I'm on a new TV, so. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm in a bad sensitivity too. Crisis what right we'll here. do is we'll, we'll get into the bunker at the top, and then uh, we'll... Uh... Oh, Ken, get inside! Ken, Ken, Go come, on. please. Please, Ken. We can't start over. <laughs> this is only a one game. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. We're all, we we're all here mask. now. Uh, we're going to have to get a survival <clears throat> suit or something. The pest. Let's, let's put on the pest. Are you taking the pest? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> So we've got that bit done. So far away with your questions, guys. What do you want to know? Okay, well, basically, when we was about here on the actual game, uh, on the last one, we were talking about your campaign, and we sort of went oh, yeah. with an overview on it, but we'd just like you to go through it a little bit more. Okay, well, I'd say the campaign started two years ago, really, and uh, a lot of people kind of jumped up and down about it and started... You know, having epi fits and stuff, and I, I don't really understand why. You see, the, the whole idea of this campaign was to not, you know, give anyone a hard time or tell anyone that they couldn't, uh, for whatever reason, uh, smack talk each other because, you know, that's fine. But when you get some younger kid who is maybe not, you know, as mature as the rest, and let's face it, they're all playing. Black yeah. Ops and Modern Warfare and whatever. When you get to that sort of situation, you just headshot this guy. Oh, I'm out of ammo, shit. Right. <laughs> um, you uh, you kind of you I know you kind of put yourself in a position where you're you know, you're feeling for these guys being sort of treated the way that they are. And uh, the campaign was about really just kind of I don't know, just just backing people off a bit from uh, bullying and having a go at um, you know a lot of these younger kids that are online. That's all it was really. That's that's the whole thing. That's what it was all about. And uh, can I open that door? Yeah, I can open the door. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what it was all about. And um, a lot of people started you know jumping up and down. And Wings of Redemption did a big thing about oh yeah, I'm going to call myself uh, Wing. We inspire nasty gamers. Well, that's fine, you know. And, uh, if you if you're a nasty gamer inspiring nasty gamers, then I haven't got a problem with that. It's just you know the the kids that used to contact me and say yeah yeah I was really looking forward to playing whatever and I had it and uh, on the Xbox and uh, within a day or so I just got so bullied I couldn't get back on there you know and th th that's when you've got to kind of feel for these kids you know yeah so that's what it was about really it was it was. People like you, me, and a lot of other guys defending people who were, for whatever reason, incapable of defending themselves. Look at that, I'm the That's first one down. <laughs> Ken? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, 
I'm all for having a fun time, you know, bullying. Well, not bullying, but you know what I mean. <laughs> having a laugh with little kids and... You know, it, it is a bit annoying seeing like little kids on 18 rated games and things like that. I, I see it a lot it on is. GTA and things. Very annoying. Yeah, but that, that, isn't there an awful lot of peer pressure for these guys to kind of do that? I mean, it, if you think you've got a classmate, a, a, a class of maybe 10 kids who have all got Modern Warfare 2, all got Black Ops, and they're all kind of chatting away and, you know, playing it every day, the kid that hasn't got it is going to be really left out. Oh, definitely. You know? Very. I mean, so th that's, that's why they do it. And no, no matter how many times they put 18 certificates on these things, it isn't going to make a difference, is it, really? <laughs> no, it won't. Seriously, it's not even the little kids to blame, really. Uh, it's it's mainly the parents for letting them play it. Yeah, you know, of course it is. There's all these things where people are saying, oh, GTA has inspired more gangs and things like that, but you can't you can't um, blame a game for, for for things like that, can you? I think, um, as I say, I mean, I, you know, a lot of it is to do with it is to do with younger kids, but basically the message was uh, mm. you can handle it. And we know you and your mates can handle it, but not everyone can handle it. So, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where some kid's getting bullied or, or whatever, then, you know, I would actively encourage everyone in that game to basically just, like, walk away from him or say, you know, do you, do you want to just back the fuck off there? Yeah. Because, you know, it's it's just not always fair. You know, that's that's all we were trying to say, really, with the campaign. I think it worked. I think it worked, it worked really well. Um, I mean, I, I took stick for it. I expected to take stick for it. Oh, definitely. You know, it was always, it was always going to be the way, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think it worked. I think it was it was quite successful in its own right, I think. Yeah. Well, as we notice on a lot of your videos, if you, if you watch them consistently, you're always popping up messages where people are abusing you <laughs> somewhat, aren't they? It's it's really quite funny. I mean, so I I guess you know the whole um, YouTube and trolling thing is uh, I don't know really. It's something. Oh, can I open another door? I'm in. Yay! <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a little bit weird because people often confuse me with somebody that gives a shit, and I don't <laughs> know why. I really don't know why. You know, they say, "Oh yeah, let's get together and mess him up." Ugh. I don't care, guys. I'm I'm in my forties. There's nothing you can do to me that I haven't seen or experienced already. You know, in my previous life as um, as a uh, you know uh, project manager or or in one of the other guises. You know, so it just amazes me that people still hate yeah, my can. good mate Maxwell. Yeah, he he put a video up. When did he put a video up? Two days ago. And it's the first time he's been hated on, right? And he was really quite upset about it. And he, he was like, how the hell do you handle this shit? Well, you handle it by 